officially four months locked. I made my four months on July 5th and I wanted to give you an update on my hair, what it's been doing, what I've been doing with my hair. So um, one of the things I want to talk about is my last retwist. So with my last retwist, I noticed that um, my locks have, I've gained a f about an inch or so in length from the last time. And I don't know if you can notice it from my last video, but uh, my hair has definitely gotten longer and it's gotten a little bit thicker. So each lock seems to be getting thicker and more dense. I can tell that they're, they're more dense um, because I noticed that the, the, the bounce back that each lock normally had when I first started my locks it's, it's not as stretchy and as elastic as it used to be when I first started so that's one of the things I'm noticing is that you know is each lock is becoming more compact and more dense and with that I've noticed you know a little bit of length I think I may have gained with this last retwist about um, an inch or so in length and uh, I even um, um, noticed that my co-workers were looking at my hair and they were like, oh, are, you, are you trying to grow your hair out? Cause your hair is getting a little bit longer. So even they noticed that my hair is getting a little bit longer. And I also think that that's due to the fact that each lock is becoming more dense. They're not as stretchy as they used to be. And um, I'm going to say that that's probably why it's doing that. With my last shampoo, I noticed a lot of buildup and I, I, I use like this um, wax on my hair. It's the, I forgot the name of it, but it was, it's in one of my previous videos. It's a um, retwisting wax that I use. And I use like a very small amount whenever I retwist, but like when I go to work or, you know, on days that, you know, I'm just at home, I'll spray my hair with this um, hairspray that's, it's water, but it also has glycerin in it. And I think the glycerin is like really attracting, um, not lint, but it makes my hair dull over time. And it, the duller it gets, the more it looks like there's built up on my hair. It looks dirty. And so this time around, um, I said I'm not going to use any products with glycerin in it. Um, I'm just going to stick to water and oil. And I'm hoping that that'll prevent that from happening. Oh, and I also went swimming. And whenever I go swimming, for some reason, even when I before I started my locks, I would get like this crazy kind of white cast on my hair. And it just looks dusty. It, I don't know. It's like a white, it almost looks like powder. It's crazy. So, But whenever I uh, put like hairspray or not hairspray but all sheen on my hair it immediately goes away but it got to the point where it just started to look awful and um, I went on vacation um, this past weekend and I got in the pool with no swim cap because I always faithfully wear a swim cap when I swim but we were at a hotel and I got in the water with no swim cap and I was just having a good old time and you know when I got got out of the pool I noticed that you know, there was this dusty look again, you know, just looking, just, it just looks nasty. So I used a clarifying shampoo. Um, I used Suave shampoo. I used Pantene. Um, I don't think they make this product anymore, but it was the copper colored bottles and it was for natural hair. And um, I used that clarifying shampoo. I, I just used a ton of clarifying shampoos. And when I wash my hair, I wash, I wash my I wash the hell out of my hair. I mean, I, that's something that I always have done anyway, but like when I wash my hair, I want it to be like squeaky clean. And I've always uh even when I was relaxed, I was the same way. So, I could easily spend like 15-20 minutes washing my hair. You know, just washing my, you know, just just I just I I really do a lot of work when I wash my hair. But after I was done, I mean, all of that buildup was gone. It was pretty much um, cleaned out. And so I went ahead and did my retwist. And it took me about two hours to do my retwist because I took my time. I didn't want it to be sloppy. Um, I didn't want to retwist too tight. And um, it came out. I think this was my best retwist since um, I've been locked. I thought about going to a beautician or a loctician to have my hair done but that leads me into talking about 
other people's mistakes when they go to a loctician, when they color their hair. And I've noticed that while looking at other people's lock journeys and videos on YouTube, one of the mistakes people always make is they go to a loctician, they don't tell them what the products that they they want done, used on their hair. They don't tell them how they want their hair handled. They don't tell them how they want it done. I mean, you have the right to do this because you're giving them your money. You're paying for a service and you should be like Burger King. You know, you want it done your way. You want it done. This is your coins. So I've noticed that every time I see a almost not every time but almost every time i see someone someone talking about going to a loctician they are super disappointed they are unhappy with the style that they got they're unhappy with the products that they're they're using they're just not happy and um one of the things one of the reasons why i wanted to become locked is because i did not want to have to depend on going to a loctician or going to a salon the point of locking my hair is to make this as simple, to make my life as simple as possible. I can easily do a retwist at home on a on an easy day where I'm not doing anything. Just go ahead and knock that out. Each time you do your, your retwist, you become more efficient and it becomes easier. And I'd rather do it myself, save myself money, and not have to deal with the heartache and pain of going to a loctician that's gonna F up your hair. I mean, unless you know this person and you know that they're going to do it the way you want it done and you know it's going to turn out right, go for it. I say, you deserve it. Go ahead and do it. But if it's somebody new that you've never gone to, um, you need to make known what you want done to your hair and how you want your hair handled. Because otherwise, they're going to do it the way they do it. And it may not be what you want. I've also noticed that people always screw up when they decide to color and not necessarily color just coloring but when they decide to go lighter when they decide to bring bleach into the equation and whenever they start bleaching their hair it's like i'm i'm watching a video and i'm thinking to myself okay anytime you bleach your hair you you're creating an environment for your hair to get weak and it's gonna cause some problems down the line. And for some people, they don't have any issues. They know how to care for their hair, but the people that I've been watching, they end up having to cut their, their locks off or their hair starts thinning or, you know, their hair gets real dry. And I saw where one lady did like a double bleaching, um, um, a double bleaching process on her hair. And I'm thinking, oh, this is going to end bad, you know? This is not going to end well. You know, I think it's a good thing whenever you, you do decide to lock your hair. Please look at other people's videos. Have an idea. If you if you see a pattern, like every time you see somebody with locks bleach their hair, in the next few months down the line, they're uploading a video saying that their hair has gone to shit. Okay, now you know this is one of the things you need to avoid. You need to avoid that. You need to avoid um, whatever they're doing. Another thing I wanted to talk about was like styling your hair when you have twist in. Um, I mean, not twist, but locks. And I see where a lot of people do um, like the barrel twist. And that's something I really want to play with. I think I'm pretty good at doing my own hair. And um, once I look at a video that shows you how to do the barrel twist, I don't think I'll have a problem in doing it. And I really wanted to go ahead and do that within the next few days because right now I'm in Louisiana and I don't know if anyone has been watching the weather, but it seems like we're going to be having a hurricane or a tropical storm coming through. And um, I want to just get my hair like just put away so that I won't have to deal with it for the next few days in case I have to evacuate or something like that. So. Um, I wanted to try the barrel twist and I may do that later on today and um, see how that comes out. And another thing I wanted to talk about was my gray hair and I don't know if you can really see it in this video but I like have like a lot of gray hair and it looks like lint. Y'all it looks it looks just like lint. Um, and so you know I, I for a moment there I thought about coloring my hair and then I was like you know what just 
deal with it. It's, it's this part of aging. <laughs> it's part of getting older is getting gray hair. So I'm just gonna let it, you know, do what it do and I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I am going to show you what the back of my hair looks like. Um, well, let's see. Like, I don't know if you can see. I tried my best to part it as neatly as possible. But as you can see, you can see like the the parting and everything. This is like the top of my hair right here, um, like that. And I'm gonna show you like the back of my hair. So let me get myself situated here. And so this is the back of my hair. And um, so this is how I'm looking right now. Looking, I think it's looking good, y'all. It's looking good. All right. So that is the end of my video. Um, if anyone wants to tell me about how they're doing in their journey, please drop me a comment below. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe, and um, I'll subscribe to you because, of course, I'm always interested in what other people are doing with their uh, locks and um, kind of comparing what's uh, what other people do sometimes you find good products um, by watching other people's videos too so leave me a comment subscribe and I will see you soon bye